think there's a lot of different things that you can do here because they have really good departments for so many different subjects. It's a diverse, like vibrant place to work. The teachers are so much more excited and you can tell they want to be there and teach you. It's definitely more skilled and specialised. You improve your confidence loads at Bilbo College as well. Here you're like the writer of your own book so do whatever you want. On my induction, I had taster sessions of about an hour long, I think, of uh, the A-levels that I was thinking about taking. And I've been to lots of open days when I was in GCSEs, and I really, really love the TA, even if it's quite far away from where I live. It is really helpful because everyone's just trying to talk to everyone. If you go then later on, you can be like, oh, I recognise you, and that's like a nice way to make friends. Because everyone's in the same boat, it was you could easily talk to other people and be like, oh, what school are you from? And, what subjects you think you've taken and stuff like that. It's also really important to see what the subjects are like because when I came I kind of missed out a session thinking it would be alright and then I had to go through the process of changing subjects. They give you like honest advice about whether that subject is for your uni. Rather than just reading about it, by being involved with it that really helped me to make a solid decision. I was thinking of doing art and then also tried out psychology but definitely not for me so I'm glad, yeah, I was glad I, we had the inductions. I came and did an induction for A-levels, um, but then um, I, I ended up doing a B-tech because it, it had more things on offer and suited me more. Just go to the lesson and try it out because you're not losing anything. And at the end of the day, you're finding out about something that could be a missed opportunity. We offer a wide range of subjects at A-level. We also offer B-tech courses and the IB diploma. Here's some more information about what we have to offer. I knew I wanted to go to university and a really easy way of being able to access that kind of level of education is through A-levels, so they're definitely the right choice for me. The subjects are so fast with like, the information so you don't get bored. You can do them in any combination, there's no set rules or boundaries on what you can study. I kind of thought when I left school that A-levels was a good idea because it would help me to pick up a few more skills to see what I wanted to do as a career. Basic BTECs are all coursework, so I prefer it, there's less stress. But, um, I mean, if you're doing A-levels, then you, you know you have exams after a year or two years, so, and I'm not an exam type person. You do have to meet set deadlines, um, but um, the overall pressure is less than with A-levels. A few times the teachers did consult us on uh, which units we wanted to do. There's a lot of things that Bilbo Arts offering. Um, there were trips um, going down to New York through BTEC. We visited the plant of Coca-Cola. The IB is a diploma and it involves six subjects, a science and art, a language, English and then maths and um, a humanity. And then you also have to do theory of knowledge and 50 hours respectively of creativity, action and service. If somebody was considering doing the IB then I would make them aware of how it is quite challenging um, but if you're someone who is more of an all-rounder rather than better at certain specific subjects then the IB is for you but if you'd rather go more in-depth at certain subjects then I'd choose A-levels or a BTEC. Well, with a school six form it's more you're still at school in a way and when you come here the routine changes, you're treated more like an adult. At uh, my old school I didn't understand a lot of things but then coming here everything just seems like yeah. click into place exactly. and it's so much better. We have a shape up program which is starts, I think it was in year 12 but it was in year 13 as well. But each week you have to do something to be more organised. It's nice to be able to wear your own clothes, you feel more relaxed in lessons. At school like you'd have an English teacher that did like chemistry and it's like I don't really know what's going on here so <laughs> more specific. Yeah. I think it's a lot more laid back than um, secondary school. I think when you get to college you get a lot more independence and I think teachers trust you more. You're given a sense of identity and individuality which you wouldn't really get in an all uniformed school. It's definitely uh, nicer with the teachers being able to address them uh, more personally. You feel like they're more of a peer than uh, a senior. Even if you don't know what you want to do when you come to Bilbra, the teachers will help you discover what it is that you're good at and what you want to do. And I think you do find it out for yourself after you attend the classes. I think the teachers are very supportive. You know, you can contact teachers on one-to-one -one basis. You can go and meet them, you can email them and then they'll get back to you straight away. It's just so much better because it's like your own peers and they've all chosen to be there. You don't get the usual distractions that you would in like school and sick form. So everyone's really like enchanted with the lessons and so more determined to learn. I think Bilbra is amazing with enrichment because it just offers you loads of opportunities to do anything you want really. 
which could go from learning a new language to learning a new culture or even sport. I got involved with like football and that at lunchtime. That was sort of a good way to get to know people as well. So I did the Amnesty International Enrichment, which I think was quite good because you learn more about what's going on in the world. I did a lot of enrichment activities which allowed me to perform at like theatres in Nottingham, such as the Playhouse, the Arts Theatre. When you joined, there was like stuff like sign language, um, stuff like first aid. There's like Korean and then chess and self-defense, like guitar hero. I know <laughs> I put my head around there once. I did yoga, did volleyball, did um, smoothie making. We did Young Enterprise through Beta where we ran up a, a small company and um, I was the managing director of the company, so I managed around about 10 12 students. Um, that process of learning was quite useful for me because I'm, I've, I've now gone on sort of my own business aside my studies. There's yeah. always like the possibility as well of like approaching the student exec and asking them to like create another one if you have enough like participants in it. You can run your own events like have cake sales and stuff like that. I took up the Iceland expedition so I'm doing that now and it's very good because I've met some more new friends. Next year we'll plan to go to Iceland itself, have two weeks there doing lots of activities but then also doing a trek and we also do a um, scientific study there. There's yeah. a huge variety and it's always stuff like, there's always that like, opportunity to do stuff where you can get like another qualification or like some kind of certificate at the end of it. Yeah. So it's like something you can put in your like, CV. Yeah. <laughs> My top three points I'd give to students starting out. Um, number one, don't be shy in making friends. I was in a place where I didn't know anyone at all and I made loads of friends instantly, very quickly. Second, get to know your teachers as well. They're there to help you. Go to one-to-ones and everything, because everybody struggles at some point. Everybody does, and that's what I did. And third point, just have fun. There are a lot of different people here that you can meet, so people that will share your interests. So even if after the first day you think you've not made any new friends, there's so many other opportunities to meet new people at Enrichment and um, in your lessons as well. Definitely try to remember everything you learn at GCSE because it always keeps yeah. on popping up and it's just so much better yeah. if you remember it. <laughs> Revise early, definitely revise early. When you start topics, organise everything into folders um, and just look over everything um, as soon as you can. The transition is a big one, but as soon as you start to get in the rhythm of it, it's just everything just seems to fall into place and it's just everything works out yeah. like, perfectly. My advice to anyone coming to Bilbury who might feel a bit nervous would be that everyone feels nervous. You kind of come up thinking, oh, I'm the only one that's scared, I'm the only one without friends, but in reality, when you do come, you realise that everyone's in the same position as you. Um, so there's no need to feel nervous and you know, you'll have a great time when you do come here.